Good day and welcome to Transport Fever. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are going to build a passenger train. That's right, from Houston to New Orleans. We already have a Houston tram system set up, so let's get a New Orleans tram system hooked up. Let's see if we can't get a road over this rail here. Just a sneaky little road. Can you do that? A sneaky road? Won't make a bridge for me? Oh, come on, really? Oh, because it wants to put the pillar right on the tracks. I see. Uh, what if we destroy some of this? Now let's do it. No, it still wants to put the pillar on the tracks. <gasps> we can go under there. We can go under. Look at that. Yes. Beautiful. That works. Hmm. I'm just doing that so it'll be easier to put down the tram if we have a complete... Oh, don't blow up the building. It'll be easier to put down the tram if we have a complete circle. Oh, I'll blow up the building. Whatever. Hook this shit up. Uh, that looks pretty good. All right, now if we're gonna put trams down, we should probably widen the streets. Let's get the large street and use our magical tool here. Uh, what type of path do we want? We definitely wanna hit all the residential. Probably put our residential station, our, our uh, passenger station down here. <sighs> yeah, we'll put the passenger station right here. Let's put that down first before we do anything crazy. Let's see, we need a proper passenger terminal. This. That does cover a lot of the city actually, but uh, we'll put down some bus stops too. Not bus stops, but tram stops. So let's put one right there. Right there. I guess it doesn't need to be on both sides. No, it doesn't, because we're not going to make it all over the place there. Right here. Right there, and right there. That's pretty good. A little loop like that. That looks nice. Okay, let's widen the streets. Now, it is going to blow up some buildings, but hopefully not too much. What the fuck? Construction not possible. Really? Why not? Why not? You tell me it's not possible, but you don't tell me why. It makes me suspicious. Like, maybe you're not telling me everything I need to know. Construction not possible. That is a funky intersection. That is a funky intersection. Okay. Whatever. Now, why does it do this? This looks wider and then narrower. Yeah, that's definitely wider and that's definitely narrower. What the hell? But it's the same road. Huh. This road is the same as this road, but this one's much narrower than this. You know what? I, I shouldn't look into it too much. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just gonna pretend that everything's fine. Everything's fine. We blew up, blew up a lot of buildings there. Didn't really want to, though. But whatever. All good in the hood, G. Throw down some tram line. All 
All right, I think we're good. Okay. Now we need a tram station, or a tram depot, I mean. Buy trams. Let's get six of those suckers. There we go. Have fun. It's too bad we destroyed so many buildings, but oh well. I was considering putting trams, trams up here, but I don't think it's necessary. Now, how much will this passenger rail cost? Oh, right, this needs to be high-speed rail. And we're going to put the passenger station over here. Maybe out here at the very end. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's fine out here. So put down one of these suckers. Tram it up. Add this station to the route. And put down a train station. Oh, I don't even need this. Yeah, this, this works with that train stop or that tram stop. So I can get rid of this tram stop here. Okay. I wonder if that's enough room. I think I have to delete this road. Oh, there's the new boxcar. Nice. So we can actually make that goods train to New Orleans haul a lot faster now. That boxcar should handle better speeds. Yeah, that works right there. I should have checked that first. All right, this is gonna be a very expensive route, so I don't really care how much we spend on it, to be honest. Just go over, yeah, we just go over everything. That's hilarious. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, money. So we'll save up till we have enough money for this shit. But hey, part of the one of the medals for this is to not have any money, so that's cool. All right, now this one, this oil field, Great Depression mission window. Which oil field is this? Oh, it's this one, Beaumont. That's this. All right, this guy's almost dry, and I think we do have its uh, new route set up. Yes, we do. That's this right here. Okay, so we'll just set that up on the new route here. We'll just change its path as soon as this thing's dry. 
because this engine can probably do that route no problem. How's this one doing, by the way? Are you full? No, he's not full. Okay, so I put on extra cars for no reason. He's just gonna go slower with those extra cars, but eh, whatever. All right, $9 million, let's keep going. Thirty-three million to do this. Whoa. <laughs> Let's get this tunnel set up, at least. That was a big-ass tunnel. Holy shit, there's a lot of oil here. 168 oil. Alright, you need more cars. You can only handle 72. Let's double it up to 12 cars. Yeah. We're halfway to our goal of 5,000 fuel. Very nice. And this oil well is now empty. Okay. So its limit is now 20 per year. We're just not going to pick that up. Oh my god, that is a large, large bridge. Now, this is the one that needs more uh, foil cars. Although I probably can't afford to double it up. I might be able to afford it. Beep, beep. Ooh, the Alco. Ideally, all these things would use Alcos because they just, they're just better, but eh. All right, what do we got here? Well, I can get three more. Can I just fast forward and get one more? Give me some money, give me 300K. I have three hundred a small loan of three hundred there's seven million. Now we're talking. Alright, back to work. I think this is line three. Yes. And this train has now hauled the last of the oil. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna change that route. and get rid of Beaumont North. So this is no longer on the route. I guess we could blow up everything, but we'll just leave it there, whatever. And this guy's nice and long now. Big old 12 oil tank train. Let's see if we can't finish our passenger line. No, it's a little too pricey. Oh, where is, oh, there it is. Like, where's that rail coming from? Oh, 
huh. It's making a really long bridge there. I'm not sure if that's necessary. Let's go this way first. All right, well, there's the meat of the money. The meat of the expenses, anyway. Here we go. Much better. Now we just need, what, $5 million to buy that thing? That passenger train? Put the depot, like, right here. How much is that passenger train? One hundred and seventy-seven kilometers an hour. It's nice and cheap too. It's only eight hundred forty-seven thousand dollars a year, and the upkeep is cheap. Yeah, we'll be at that for sure. We're at 3,000. We still have nine years to go. I'm pretty sure we're going to hit this 5,000 mark without any issue. I think so. I think so? Yeah, we should. It's doing 800 per year cap. All right, the first haul from Jackson. How much is it? 18. A little disappointing there, to be honest. All right, there's the money we needed. To Houston and Nolens. Call it the Express. Oh, it doesn't fit. Whatever. EXP. I'll have to do. We'll call this the uh, the Beggars. If I can spell it. Beggars Bullet. Not exactly a bullet train. Although it is shiny like a bullet. Hmm. How long does it take to get up to speed in this thing? It's only going it's only going eighty. These rails can handle 300? And the train goes 177. Alright, this train is not as fast as I thought it would be. I'm not even going 120 yet. Wow, that is... Not impressive at all. Might just ditch this and go for a more powerful engine. Yeah, it's just not that fast. I mean, it gets up to speed eventually, but it takes too long, really. All right, are you full, Mr. Train? Tell me you're full. Yeah, you're full. Okay, so you need some more cars. So 
Still hauling lots and lots of fuel. All right, which one's gonna be empty soon? This one, Lake Charles number two. That is, that's this, right? No, that's Beaumont. That's this. Yeah, okay, that one's gonna be empty somewhat soonish. So I have to hook up some more fuel or some more oil. I guess we can get these two. Maybe just have one train pick up both. Yeah, it's probably easier. Just have one train pick up both. Doesn't need to go super fast or anything. All right, when this guy arrives, we're just gonna go sell it. Actually, before we even consider that, are there any passenger cars that can go on express? It's gotta be passenger cars that are for express, right? Let's see, passengers, max speed 110. There we go, 180, 150. Yeah, 180 max speed, that's pretty good. The classic Pullman heavyweight passenger car was the mainstay of American railroading, used almost on all railroads. Cool. Yeah, that's what we'll use then. And we'll go with a really powerful engine. So I have to say, we do have $18 million. That's probably enough to buy it. All right, drop off the people. I'm not gonna pick anyone up though. Let's go back to the station. I mean, we paid good money to get this rail line set up. It better be fucking fast. A new tank car, nice. Probably goes a lot faster and probably hauls a lot more. Holds a lot more, I mean. Wait a minute, why are you not picking up fuel? Oh no, you are. It's just constantly getting resupplied. Pause, 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 pause. Why can't you? Oh, I'm on the wrong side, my bad. Whoops, I thought, I, I thought the track was on the other side of this thing. Nope, I'm a dummy. sell this piece of shit. All right, what is this? 188 kilometers an hour, power 1,680. Let's go for this. Alco PB. So it just, it just doubles the power pretty much. And how many passengers do we want? Hundred and fourteen. Let's go for that. Let's see how that goes. All right, get to work. name this thing all dollar bills make it green like money The rails in the Houston station aren't upgraded. You sure? No, they're high speed. All right, now let's see how fast this thing gets up to speed. Max speed of 188, I think. No, 180 for the passenger cars. Passing 100. So 
still not getting up there. We're only 130. The platform's not long enough, really? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. This is too long. All right, we'll cut off a couple passenger cars. It's not like we're filling it up right now, anyway. 156, 57, 58, 59, 60. Oh, we're not going to get to 188. Oh no, we are gonna we are gonna hit max speed at the very last second. We're gonna hit max speed. There we go, max speed. Yeah, achieved. Oh well. It's a lot of people who want to take the passenger here. Oh hey, we got a, a medal. Nice. Can we fit everyone on the train? Oh wow, not quite. We couldn't even fit everyone. Damn, we couldn't even fit everyone. Yeah, the train is longer than the station. I'm not sure if that's a problem. It seems like it's not, because we filled up all the passengers, no issue. All right, now let's see how much money we make on a full load of passengers from Nolens to Houston. I really want to see, I really want to see how much money this is. It's going to be a lot. Quite hitting max speed here, but close. Four million dollars. Not bad. Not bad. So we've got our passenger line hooked up. Uh, this oil field's almost empty. So we need to set up a new place. Is that this one? Yeah, that's this one. So it's almost empty. We need to set up a new oil well for you to go to. So let's hook up both of these. But this is where Black Gold is we'll get into that in the next episode. Already. Thank you all hopefully for watching. We'll I'll see you next time where Black hopefully we'll finish Black up this Gold mission. Have a good day. Already. Hopefully we'll never run out. Otherwise we'll probably have to breed new dinosaurs and then wait an eternity.